Hi, I'm Dennis and I'm back with another tip. You know, I love my Z020. It's, it's my workhorse. I love it. I can't do without it. But there's times that whenever I do a headliner like this and my solution tank is totally full and it's not doing it yet, so I'm going to turn it on its side even more and kind of go upside down. See, it's, it's weeping. It's got a little leak out the top. That's a pretty unusual position for a tool to go into, but if the leak is bothering you, let's fix it. Take my jar off, set that aside. Underneath the cap is a flexible washer. This is what comes from the factory. They put a flexible washer in there because they feel it's like a, like a paint gun. You don't want to turn it upside down in paint. But in our situation, a lot of times we have to put the tool in a, in a different situation under a seat or door jam or, or what have you. So we put it in, in an unusual situation. Okay, this is a very flexible type gasket and it's got a little ridge underneath here. But what we're going to do is we're going to replace it with the 018. This is a solid cap washer. Okay, take that, I'm going to place that inside. And press it down with my finger, no big deal. That's in there nice and smooth. But, let me give you a little tip. Before you go and buy an 018 washer, go to the box that your 020 came in. You'll find a spare cap along with your uh, air regulator and fitting and instructions. Reach inside, get that cap, and look. Usually, almost always, there's that thick, heavy washer in there. Just reach in and take it out and switch it. I don't need to buy the 018. <laughs> Let's see if it fixes my problem though. I'm going to put that on there. Once again, best habit is just grab that, snug it down. Okay. I'm not leaking. CT 018. You're aggravated with that little weep because you got your cleaning tool in an odd position. 018 will fix that.